Ever since I can remember, I always dreamed of becoming an elementary school teacher. Upon graduating from high school in 1992, I immediately attended college in the Sequoias to begin my journey towards my teaching career. Little did I know that I would never graduate from this college. While attending college, my mother became really ill and was confined to bed rest. Being the eldest of a family of six, I dropped out of college to tend to my siblings and my mother. I became mom to my three sisters, Tina, Rachel, Monica, and my two brothers, Ricardo Jr. and Gabriel. Time passed and I still had college on my mind, but several unpleasant events occurred in my family, and my family and I found ourselves constantly moving from one city to another. Life went on, and my dream of going to school had yet to become a reality. In 1994, I married my first spouse. And even though he promised to love me, cherish me, and support me in my dreams, none of that could pass. I became a victim of domestic violence on the very first night of my honeymoon. Over the next seven years, I would live in fear of my life and develop a very low self-esteem of myself. My dream of going back to school was crushed once more. Finally, in 2001, God gave me the courage to leave him, and I took my three daughters, Victoria, Sephora, and Otilia, and we went to live in a shelter home for victims of domestic violence. We weren't hiding until we were all able to come to California, which is where my life as a single mom would begin. We struggled for years, giving paycheck to paycheck. Being a full-time mom and a full-time employee, I had given up on my dream of being of going back to school. In 2008, I met a wonderful and loving man, Martin Perez, and we began to date. Eleven months later, we were, and still are, very much madly in love. And so Mary, though, we faced another challenge. I was laid off on my job, and he also found himself unemployed. Regardless of this challenge, though, we still decided to get married and trust that the Lord would provide. With both of us being unemployed, we were invited to start visiting convalescent homes, so my husband Martin and I did. During these visits, I felt that God was pulling me towards the medical field. I would share this with my new husband, and he would say, go for it, babe. However, being the procrastinator that I am, I put it off. A year later, I felt that God was still tugging at my heart again, and this time I acted. So I began to search the web to see what my options were. This is how I found Charter College. I called, booked an appointment, and in less than a week, I couldn't believe it. I was registered for college. At Charter College, I met some wonderful new friends. Some of us were married with children, others were single moms, others unemployed, others just trying a new career. We all came from different backgrounds, but we all had one goal in mind, to graduate and become medical assistants. I received tremendous support from my instructors here at Charlie College. I was very blessed to have three instructors welcome on her course. I'm very thankful to Malachi, Dr. Hudson, and Dr. They pushed me because they could see the potential I had, even though I couldn't see it myself. I wouldn't be here today, though, if it wasn't for the support of my loving husband, Martin Perez. He would cook, clean, and tend to our girls so I could spend all my time studying and learning. My daughters, Victoria, Sephora, and Otelia, were always saying, you can do it, Mommy, we believe in you. My mom, Socorro, always encouraged me and praying for me. My sisters and brothers loving and encouraging me with a small dinner and a cake every time I made the themes list. The prayers of my friends and church family were a tremendous strength for me. But most of all, if it were for the Lord helping me through those long nights of study, which most nights I only got three hours of sleep, giving me understanding to comprehend my materials and helping me pass my exams, especially the lab clinical and the NCC exam, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish this journey that he set me upon. My sister Tina would always tell me, you do your best and God will do the rest. Well, my hard work has paid off and the prayers of all my family, friends, and church family have been answered. 
Despite all the challenges that I faced in my life, my lifelong dream of going back to school has become a reality. as a National Certified Medical Assistant. Congratulations to all of you. We did it.